Dave Parody of financialviz.com and thinkoutsidetheslide.com. You need to present the income or profit and loss statement. Of course, it has revenues and expenses. How do you do that in a way that's going to be visual and really easy to understand for the audience? Well, I suggest we consider using what I call a net income walk. It uses a waterfall graph to show the revenues and expenses and how they calculate to that net income. Typically, this is what we start. We've done our, our, all of our financial reporting, closed our books, and we have our very typical net income statement, profit and loss, if you want to think about it that way, and it's fairly standard sort of presentation. This is a table, a spreadsheet, and we want to make it more visual. So to create that waterfall graph, that net income walk visual, we need to change some things about the data and we're going to create a table that is going to allow us to create the graph. This is what the table looks like. A few things to notice here. First of all, the very first uh, data column is a spacer. Now a spacer is an invisible column uh, or it's going to be invisible in the graph and it's going to be a segment in the graph that's invisible because you're going to use a stacked column graph. The reason we need the spacer is because it then positions or holds up the visible segment in that particular column. I then have three columns, one for income or revenue, one for expense, and one for the net. The reason that I've separated those columns is for formatting. So each of those separate data series allows us to have the formatting applied just to the segments in that data series. It makes it a lot easier, and this is a really good tip, especially if you're going to have to update this particular graph later on where some of those may change. So as long as you put it in the correct data series, it automatically picks up all the correct formatting. And then finally, I've added three series at the end for the labels. Now these are label series that are going to be invisible, but allow us to position the data label in that particular segment as opposed to the segment it actually represents. Now why would we want to do that? Well, a stacked column graph will not allow you to place a data label outside of the segment, which makes a lot of sense because it, it should apply to the segment that, that it's really representing. These label segments allow us, using a feature that was introduced in Office 2013, to position a data label from a separate set of cells into a different set of cells. So what does this look like when we create it? So this is the graph that we create, and it is a stacked column graph, and we clean up that default stacked column graph by getting rid of the title, the legend, the grid lines, and make the axis nice and clean. And then we create the, we have those segments called the spacer and the label holder. We make those invisible. We set them to no fill and no line so that they don't uh, appear on our graph. And now you, by doing that, you can see, for example, with the expense, columns, those segments quote-unquote float in midair. Well, actually not floating, they're supported by this invisible spacer segment. We make the bars wider and we apply the formatting to each of the data series. So each of the series, the revenue, the expenses, the net income, each of those series is separately formatted so that every segment in that series takes on the formatting automatically and were we to change it later on, update it later on, it will easily take on that formatting as long as we put it in the right data series. The data labels that I added to both the revenue and the net income columns, those data labels I placed in that invisible label segment. So they are actually above these columns, which represents more of a positive sort of uh, representation of the number. And by placing them in that invisible segment, I can have them positioned outside of the column. I use that feature that says create a data label and pull the value from a different set of columns. With the expense, I want those data labels to be below each of the segments because I want them to indicate that it's going down, the, the uh, total is going down. So what I've done is I've actually placed those inside the spacer segment, which is invisible. But again, by placing it there, we have positioned the label to give additional meaning for the audience. So you can use this net income walk, create it in Excel, to visually show this particular income statement which has revenue, expenses, and net income. So when you want to communicate 
the revenue expenses that result in net income, you want to do it visually, select a waterfall graph. The example we've shown allows the audience to easily see this and to conclude the message that you want them to understand. If you want more examples of how to visually show financial results and analysis, go to financialviz.com or thinkoutsidetheslide.com.